solve Corbin Burns, much like the rest of this Winston-Salem lineup. A curveball that Barnum does offer at. Brought the bat around just enough. And it's 0-1. Again, that mighty pull side shift being put on by the Mudcats against Keon Barnum. Barnum a 360 swing of the bat before he hoists it above his left shoulder and awaits the 0-1. Comes in a bit low, it's one ball and one strike. <laughs> Barnum standing in with a slightly open stance. Shakes the bat a couple of times and watches a 1-1 curveball go a bit upstairs. It's two balls and one strike. Corbin Burns up over 80 pitches now. He's about to offer his 83rd of the evening. It's a strike on the inside corner. It's two balls and two strikes. So Burns trying to send down Barnum on strikes for the third time today. The 2-2, outside corner just missed. Wow. Both Keon Barnum and Zach Collins know how to make things interesting. Barnum watched an almost certain strike three go by and it just missed, so a good eye from Barnum. A full count offering now to the designated hitter. And he fouls that one away, up off the roof and out of the ballpark. I was uh, just served some cake up here in the broadcast booth as a part of Bolt's birthday celebration. A wonderful cake sent to the dash to help celebrate our mascot's birthday. As the 3-2 offering on the way from Burns and Barnum can't connect his new career high 10 strikeouts. Ends the bottom of the seventh inning as Barnum goes down swinging.